Girl, you know you are never supposed to do that to your natural hair. What did she just say? I'm not supposed to do that to my natural hair? Oh, I can't keep up with all of this stuff. I don't hey, don't worry. I got you. Julian here from Gym Naturals. So this one had to be first because I get this question all the time. And the scenario goes a little bit like this. You know, I've been using oil on my hair, but my hair is still dry. What should I use? And the first thing that I always tell people is that your hair is still dry after you put oil on it because oil is not a moisturizer. It's actually a sealant. So what you need to do is to actually put moisturizer on your hair first and then seal it with the oil. Now, a few years back, there was a black woman who walked into a hair salon and they pretty much told her that they wouldn't be able to do her hair. I'm not able to do your kind of hair, she said. I would just mess it up. Now, anybody would be upset by this, and rightfully so. But if you think about it, that lady probably didn't know how to do her hair and probably would have messed it up. Now, of course, she's supposed to be a stylist. She's supposed to be trained in everybody's hair. I get it. But at the end of the day, she did not have the skill to do our hair. So my point here is, don't be sitting in just anybody's chair. Not everybody's so honest. Not knowing what ingredients to stay away from. Now, if you check the ingredients on every product that you use, if you see petrolatum or mineral oil at, at the top or I can't see them completely if I see them. Uh, but if you see them at the front, at the first three ingredients, do not use that product. Petrolatum, I'm probably mispronouncing it, but y'all know what I'm talking about. And mineral oil will actually clog your pores on your scalp, making it harder for your hair to grow. And then it also, when it's on the, the length of your hair, it, um, it, it will interfere with moisture getting into your hair because it will create this barrier that's difficult to wash off. Now, I already know some of y'all are going to be like, my mama used to use that blue grease on my hair when I was a kid, and I had hair all down my back. Listen, I did too. My mama used it on me too. But you want to know why we had hair down our backs? Because we were, I'm going to call them protective styles, but they're not really protective styles. But we rocked those twists and those braids for like two weeks. Don't say you didn't do it, because y'all all rocked the twists and them barrettes, okay? We didn't manipulate our hair, so we were able to get away with that. We got moisture put in, and they sealed it with that blue magic stuff that sealed it in, but then nothing else was able to get in into it, but we weren't manipulating our hair. We were letting it be. So if you plan on wearing twist outs, braid outs, what have you, that blue magic stuff is not going to fly. If you're going to look like this, go ahead and use the blue magic. So maybe I should try that. Leaving your hair uncovered while you sleep. That is always a big, big no-no. Why? Because the fabric of your pillowcase or your pillow will absorb all the moisture that you have in your hair, leaving your hair dry and matted and knotted up by the time you wake up. And that's no fun for anybody. So the solution? Just wrap your hair at night with a silk scarf or a bonnet. Now, ladies, I know the men in our lives don't always care for the wrapped up bonnet look. And if he has a problem with it, you tell him to buy you a satin pillowcase. Problem solved. Improper conditioning. This is such a mistake. Why is it a mistake? Because you've just gotten done shampooing your hair. Shampoo strips all your hair of all the dirt, but it also takes all the oil, all the moisture out. And when you condition, it restores all that goodness back in there. So that's why you need to make sure that you do it properly. So the solution, find a water-based deep conditioner and never ever keep it on your hair longer than a half hour. This will allow your hair to absorb all the goodness of the deep conditioner and to restore your hair. And actually some of these products may not be called deep conditioner. You might hear something like a hair mask or something along those lines. Uh, but pretty much anything that tells you to keep it on your hair for five minutes probably is not a deep conditioner and it's just a regular conditioner. But results may vary, of course, and you can experiment with whatever you want. Not knowing your hair's porosity. This is extremely important because the porosity has a lot to do with how your hair absorbs moisture. So if you don't know your porosity and you're using a product that's good for, say, low porosity and your high porosity, 
you might have a lot of issues trying to get water, trying to get moisture into your hair and staying into your hair. So the solution, take the porosity test. It's quick, it's easy, and it's painless. I promise. Using excessive heat. Now I know that there are a lot of natural ladies out there who just want to keep their hair straight. Hey, I don't judge you. If you don't want to wear it curly, don't wear it curly. It's your hair. But please, please, please be careful when you flat iron your hair or use heat at all. So applying an excessive amount of heat can lead to heat damage. And we all know what heat damage leads to. The solution, if you must straighten your hair, just keep in mind that the hair begins to burn at 450 degrees. So just try to stay substantially under that. And of course, always use protection. Using harmful styling tools. So our kinky coily hair does not do well with fine tooth combs. Our coils and our kinks just get caught up in them and they're not really designed to um, take our hair very well so they just rip our hair out. So stay far, far away from those type of products. The solution? Just use a wide tooth comb or a modified dimming brush. Natural 85 has a video on how she modified the brush. I'm going to link it below in the description. This is a wonderful environment to promote kinks and knots and nobody wants that. We're already stripping our hair of all of its nutrients during the shampoo process. So why add more of a barrier onto that? So the solution? Just wash your hair in sections. I like to put mine into four sections. Working in small sections have help you avoid uh, making a lot of knots in your hair. Also, make sure you work your shampoo in a downward motion. This keeps your hair from getting all bunched up on itself because our hair really has a mind of its own and just wants to get all tangled and crazy, kind of like our headphones do whenever we put them in our pockets. So, and also, if you're if you're working on your scalp, try to hold the length of your hair top and then work into your scalp like this. Cutting your hair using the improper scissors. Now this actually causes more damage than good because now your new edges aren't being snipped evenly. They're being snipped all crazy and just it causes more problems, more knots, more issues that we don't need. The solution? Use hair shears. These are specifically designed to cut hair. But to be completely honest with you, I'm going to recommend that you go to see a professional and not try to cut your hair yourself. It usually doesn't, it's usually not a good time. I speak from experience. If you see other naturals out there and they're applying heat to their hair, they're applying chemicals of all kinds, or coloring it, and their hair just seems to thrive despite what they do. Yet, you just look at them, you just think about putting heat on your hair and then you find you can't retain moisture. Well, the solution to this is to stop comparing yourself to other naturals. Their hair is their hair, who knows what they're really doing, who knows what they're really showing you. What you really want to focus on is if your hair is healthy. As long as your hair is healthy, the length will come. That's all you need to worry about. Don't worry about what little Susie May is doing down the street. You got this. Your hair is healthy, you'll be good. So those are things that you should never, ever, 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 ever do to your hair. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down in the comments box. As always, thank you so much for watching. Peace.